Good evening. To begin our family devotion, shall we all sing the hymn, There's a land that is fairer than day. My soul faints with longing for your salvation, but I have put my hope in your word. My eyes fail looking for your promise. I say, when will you comfort me? Though I am like a wine skin in the smoke, I do not forget your degrees. How long must your servant wait? When will you punish my persecutors? The arrogant dig pits to trap me, contrary to your law. All your commands are trustworthy. Help me, for I am being persecuted without cause. They almost wipe me from the earth, but I have not forsaken your precepts. In your unfailing love, preserve my life, that I may obey the statutes of your mouth. Good evening, friends. Today, we will move to the next section. That is the verses from 81 to 88. For the past few days, we were meditating from this psalm and we have covered almost 10 sections. We have meditated on 10 uh, sections, that is, we have covered 80 verses from this psalm alone. In this section, the first verse, we read that the author is telling, My soul faints with longing for your salvation, but I have put my hope in your word. He is trying to tell, Lord, for a long, long time I am waiting for your blessing, for your salvation. I have not experienced that yet. I am waiting still. But though I am waiting, I have hope in your word. 
because you have promised blessing in my life though i have not actually realized or experienced the blessing which you have promised though my soul faints or it fainted already but yet i have hope waiting for a long time makes our soul faints it is the reality for some blessings we do not know what is god's will but we do not get immediately we wait wait and wait but we know though we have not received it we have great faith in god because god has told us in great faith if you ask something it will be given to you he has given us lot of promises we read that in the bible so with great hope we wait we believe in the promise of god in jeremiah chapter 31 verse 25 we read i will refresh the weary and satisfy the faint i will refresh the weary and satisfy the faint god is giving us this assurance you may be fainting but god says do not worry i will refresh in the appointed time the blessing will come but we need to have some patience sometimes we may be very holy we may love god so much but in our own enthusiasm we get into trouble we can read so many illustrations to substantiate this view for example today we will take one leaf abram god said i will multiply i will bless though he, he had great faith in god because the blessing delayed when his wife came and told now here is one option please exercise that option he was willing to listen to his wife he was not waiting for god's guidance this happens with each and every one of us we may be having very strong faith sometimes we believe that this is what god's will is so we are misled and we get into trouble but today god is telling i will refresh the weary if you are going through difficult situation if you are expecting some great blessing from god don't be disappointed god is telling i will refresh i will refresh believe in him do not lean on your wisdom do not try to do anything in haste wait for god's blessing in the bible one more a verse i wish to read in this uh, this is from uh, ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 18 this says this is what i have observed to be good that it is appropriate for a person to eat to drink and to find satisfaction in their toilsome labor under the sun he says we all look for satisfaction we work hard we earn money we eat for what to satisfy ourselves in this verse we see that we will find satisfaction we will find satisfaction if you are not satisfied till today today god is telling you do not worry do not have faint hearted let your soul be fainted no rejoice in the lord because god is going to 
give us new blessing. In Ezekiel chapter 21 verse 7 we read, Every heart will melt with fear and every hand go limp. Every spirit will become faint and that's how it goes. Every spirit will become faint. This is what is happening to us for the past few months. We are very scared. We are very scared. Our soul is very much disturbed. But God is telling you, whatever the situation it may be, do not have loose heart. God would give you new power and new strength. That's what we read in Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. We may run, we may walk, we may do anything. But we will not faint. We will not become so weak. That's what God is telling you. Can you believe in his promises? If we believe in his promises and hold fast to that, we can surely enjoy God's blessing and peace in our life. Do not worry about anything. Have faith in him. God bless you. Have a blessed evening. Let us pray. Loving Heavenly Father, we thank you for continuously speaking to us. We thank you for strengthening us. Lord, our soul is fainting. When we hear so many bad news which is happening around us, we have no strength at all. We become very weak. Lord, thank you for speaking to us. Thank you for encouraging us. Thank you for strengthening us. Lord, your Bible very clearly tells us, like eagle we will sow. Even if you walk and run, we will not faint. Thank you for this assurance. Strengthen us. Help us to get rid of this problem from our life. Help us to concentrate on your promises. Help us to take courage in your promises. So that Lord, in the days to come, we may continue to grow more and more in you. We can face all the difficult situation. We can come out of this situation with your help and with your blessing. Bless each and every one of us. Let your grace and love be upon each and every one of us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forevermore. Amen. God bless you all. Good night.